Even if you're not a landlord now, listen up, because you may want to become one. The new tax law has changed the equation weighing whether to rent a property or be the sole tenant throughout the year. If you purchased a home in 2018, only the interest paid on the first $750,000 of the mortgage is deductible. That's down from $1 million under the old rules. However, a rental property is not subject to the limit. While the math of renting out your place may not have worked before, you may want to look at this again. Your mortgage could be several million dollars, but you'd still be able to deduct all of the interest on it, just as you did before the new law. If you live in the residence part of the year and rent it out for the rest, you're entitled to a partial break. Another advantage for rental property owners is that you can now deduct only $10,000 in state and local income tax and property tax annually on a home if you're not renting it out. But if you rent out a property for at least 15 days a year, you can take a deduction on part of the property taxes paid. A homeowner who pays $12,000 in property levies annually only gets to deduct the first $10,000. Renting out that property for three months qualifies you for a deduction on 25% of property taxes paid, or $3,000. And you could separately deduct the other $9,000 in property taxes paid. Rental property owners also get a break on making home improvements. Under tax reform, landlords may immediately deduct capital spending on equipment and machinery. Gone is the requirement to take the break over many years. If you install a new kitchen in a rental property, for instance, it's deductible all at once. Becoming a landlord is fraught with issues beyond finances. But if you own a home or vacation property, the new tax law has changed the economics of renting it out, so you may want to reconsider your options. Please give us a call if you have questions about how you could best apply the new rules in your personal situation.